So today's video is all about my plants. And first of all, I would like to tell you about my lighting problems. So the problem with this room where my garden room is, so this garden room is where I keep my tropical plants, my 55 gallon tank, and you know, uh, um, a Laguna tub that I use as an indoor pond. But the trouble is that there's too much sunlight in the summer and then in the winter it's quite dark. So I'm deciding that from now on I'm going to um, use the single lights. I don't think you can see them today but I have single lights hanging over. So in the summer I'll use fewer, fewer of those and in the winter I will use more of them and put them a bit lower so like that I'm getting more light in my tank. And then in the summer when there's too much sunlight, I can reduce that light down to almost nothing. So the plants that I've had in the past, many of them died in the winter when it was too dark. And then in the summer, um, they would get covered with algae and then I would take them out to put them in a dark um, tub or something to get rid of the algae. Then I would forget them in that tub and then they would go rotten because of lack of light. Oh. So I've lost quite a few plants over the years. But this coming 2023, I really want to get some new plants and take better care of them. So taking care of them means that I'm going to have better substrate, better lighting, better maintenance, high ideals that don't always get done, but you know, we can only try, right? We're all human, okay. You're human too, by the way. <laughs> so the floating plants that I've had in the past, and I really want to get them back too, because they are the ones that tend to die out in the winter time. But I want to try again with them, with my new system of lighting more in the winter time so that um, maybe I can keep them alive. So the two floaters that I would really like to have are the frog bit and red root floater. Two of them I really, really like and I've had them before. They did well for me in the summer, but they would die out in the winter time. So I'm hoping that with lighting more in the winter time, I'll be able to keep them al alive. Now, some of the stem plants that I've had in the past were things like Vallisneria. I had one that was quite nice and it, was only, it, it only would grow about 10 or 12 inches long and it was the curly kind. So I'm not quite sure what the scientific name of it is, but it was not one that grew you know, out of hand ever. So it would spread a little bit, but not too much. And it was just nice. And I don't know what happened to it. I think maybe it was one of those that got algae. Then I would put it in a bucket to have it dark and get rid of the algae. And then I would forget it. So yeah, so those, that's what often happens for me anyway. And another stem plant that I have trouble growing is Bacopa. I don't know why. I think my lighting is not quite right. In the past, I have been using 5,000 K bulbs and it's just not good enough for growing plants. I can get away with it in the summertime when I have sunshine coming in, but in the winter when the sun is just almost non-existent, <laughs> I really need 6400K and lots of it. So this is what I'm planning to do. Um, I'll just read off some of the other things I've had here. One was Hemianthus. Where are we? No, not Hemianthus. Helanthium bolivianum quadricostatus. Wow. That is a very pretty plant, but I have to have good substrate to grow it. 
and I have to have good light. So I think I'm, I'm okay not having CO2 injected, but the, the sand that I have here, it's only one inch of sand, if that. It's probably less than an inch now. Um, it's just not good enough for this plant and the lighting problems are a problem for this plant as well. The next thing that I had which I really really liked was Heteranthera zosterifolia stargrass. That is also a very pretty plant and it's quite easy to grow but I think one of the things that I don't really like about it is that it tends to get leggy with the changing light that I have and then when I trim it it doesn't look pretty again until it starts growing out again so it's mostly in a state that doesn't look very pretty it's only short periods of time when it really looks pretty when the new growth star shaped it's really pretty it comes out as a star shaped um, what do you call that rosette and it looks very pretty for a while, but I think I need to really up my lighting for it. So it didn't, mind, it didn't seem to mind the uh, one inch of sand substrate, but I think the lighting really needs to be up on that one. Okay, let's see what else I have here. I'm just going through the um, Tropica website here. <laughs> and seeing what I've spent my money on and lost. Oh, poor me. Um, yeah, I think that was it for... Yeah, some of these are all difficult to grow and I never did. I don't buy them if they say difficult to grow on them. They have to be easy. And I buy the little packs of one to grow I find that the best thing. And then I put them in these little grower pots. You might see some around here. Where? There, there. <laughs> yeah. These have Rotala rotundiflora and folia in them. So this is a plant that almost died for me and I'm just trying to get it to grow again so I don't have to buy it again. Yeah, sort of like that. Another thing that I have lost is Christmas moss. So I had a big wad of Christmas moss growing over here and this is why my lemon tetras were able to have fry survive because there was a big wad of moss to protect them from being eaten. But after I got so many fry I took the moss out and I'm not even sure what I did with it. I just don't have it anymore. So this is what happened. Um, I still tend to get some fry even though I don't have moss but it's like you know just one or two instead of ten and this tank just can't hold anymore I don't have the time to be bothered trying to get rid of the, the extras so yeah so what I do have in this tank now is a crypt um, Undulata red. I have Anubias unnamed with large leaves. That grows fairly fast for me because I bought one piece and now it's in four pieces. So there's one here somewhere and three in the corner behind me. And then I have Anubias Bartery Nana which grows quite slowly I find because it's actually older than this other Anub Anubias but it's it doesn't do much it grows very slowly but I like it I really like it so that's one of the ones I think it's big enough to actually cut in two now so I think I'm gonna try cutting in it in two again um, and then yeah so so well when when I start doing things in the spring all my new projects I hope you're still with me in the spring um, <laughs> I will want to use my two two kinds of Anubias my crypt undulata red and java fern is there and what else 
Oh yeah, and then in a jar, I have a jar in the window in my music room that has my bacopa and something else. Oh, a crypt, not a crypt, a um, uh, sword, yeah. There's a sword and a piece of bacopa in a jar in the window so that I don't lose them this year. And so when I start doing new things, I'll be able to use them hopefully. Okay. Um, yeah, what else do I want to get? Something that I haven't had before, which is Storagine Repins. I would like to get that. I would like to rebuy the Christmas moss and try some other things. So this time I think I'm going to go downtown to a really nice little fish shop. He's not a pet shop. He's a straight on fish shop. He's got nice plants and nice fish and everything like that. And I'm hoping to film or to record, video record my visit to that guy. So if he'll let me, I will, I'm going to record and uh, put it up as a video. So hopefully I'll be able to do that. That will be a few weeks from now though. Okay, so I think that's it. I've covered everything that I wanted to cover, yeah? Um, keep tuned because I'm going to be putting up some more videos. They won't be about my project because I, I, I don't want to do my project until, say, March-ish because that's when we start getting sunshine again. So um, in the meantime, I want to upload some videos about stuff that I've learned in the past about fish keeping and about aquascaping and stuff like that. Okay? Thank you very much for being with me today. I really enjoy, you know, the times we spend together. Thank you, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!